Johnny Eats Cheap, part two of our HelloFresh haul. We got a couple of orders because we had a coupon for like $50 off, so that covered two meals for two people. I did the Monterey Jack burgers, which were good, but it took a long time. I thought it was kind of tough to follow because I don't follow recipes real well, but you know who does follow them real well because she loves to bake? Mrs. Cheap. So I said, hey, this next one, this is sausage and tomato risotto with lemony zucchini ribbons. A recipe risotto to follow lots of stirring I was like this would be perfect for mrs. Cheap. let's see if we can do it I'll sh I should say if she can do it all right this might look kind of weird sometimes because I don't really know where the camera is uh, Johnny's cheap mrs. cheap is gonna bust out this meal the risotto it's great because I've had risotto once I really liked it but it's a really time-consuming thing to make I need to cut so half an onion they give you a whole onion, so you, use, you cut half of it, and I then they it. say, save the other half for later. And that's good, because you throw it in a baggie, you know, in a Ziploc, in a fridge, it'll stay for a week or two. You'll be able to use it. Do I use you... this knife? Yeah, we get out the big guns, the chef's knife. Okay, so do I cut it in half this way, or this way? Uh, you know what? Go ahead and cut the ends off each side. There you go. Well, you cut a lot of that one off. Okay, okay now this one. Oh, this is kind of tough. Careful those fingers. There you go. Now okay. flip it, sit it on one of the ends, and cut it right in half. There you go. Now you got half an onion and half for later. Okay. So go ahead and yeah, peel the brown stuff off. Okay, meanwhile your, your oil is hot, so we can probably drop the sausage. Okay. Sausage goes into the oil light sizzle. Yeah, break it up just a little. All right, you got enough time to go slice the onion now. Careful of the fingers, thinly sliced, and you're doing half an onion here, right? Right. All right. Okay. If you keep the tip of the knife on the cutting board and just go down from there, those are good thin slices. I'm trying. Good job. They're not going to be uniform like that. Look at you, sticking the knuckles out, keeping the tips back. That's a good, that's pro move, pro chef move. Dice the tomato. Gosh, I already do a lot of cutting. Why am I putting this onion? Where do you it's put just... the onion? Do you need a bowl? No, it just shows it on there. They just have it like... Oh, on the cutting board. On the well, cutting go ahead board. and leave it there. Now, now cut the tomato. Are you supposed to dice it? It says dice it. Dice the tomato. So you cut that, the stem end off. And now, just kind of prop it up. Top it up on that cut end, slice it down the middle. Now put it on the side. You know what? Maybe use that steak knife here. Use the steak knife? A little serrated and just kind of slice. No, slice it the other way first. You're so bossy. <laughs> it helps if you start the knife at the open end. Okay. Okay. So then do there I need go. to cut more? Like... Yeah, I would cut it into thirds maybe or fourths. There you go. You like fours. Try and get the yeah. Try and get the the cut started before you you push down with a lot of pressure. Okay. There you go. So now I dice. Now across, yeah. Are those small enough? Yeah, that's diced. That's good enough. Break up that sausage. Yeah, just mash it down. And they say you have to use a slotted spoon. That's pretty much just so you can pull the sausage out. Yeah, because so, they want you to use So them. really, here, here, let me give you a better spoon for doing that. There you go. This is better for just smashing that sausage down and getting it crumbly. I know, I've got to pickle one more better. Still got some taste. Just kind of smash them down with the back of the spoon. There you go. But what about all those people that don't have you to tell them how to do it? I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Draining sausage. Butter into the pan. And yeah, you leave all that goodness in there. All right, I'm going to put the potatoes Now, how long do you cook these onions? Five minutes. Five minutes. Or till and translucent? Five to seven. Cook okay. Seven yeah, you got to stir them a little bit. That smells good. Yeah, it does. It's onions and butter and sausage crust. There's a very, there's a lot of variance between my slices. That's okay. Right there. 
There you I go. I think that's just a big old chunk of one. Is it? Oh, you're a bad <laughs> cut. I'm not a very good. I'm not a very good thin slicer. Is. Look at that. The pan is on the burner. This is so much work, though. I'm used to baking. Yeah. And you like throw it all together, put it in the oven, and then half an hour later you have a cake. So that, do we stick a toothpick in the onions and see if they're done? How does you that work? You tell me. You're the chef. Oh, those are getting pretty close. I'll give them a couple more minutes. Boy, they do smell good. Okay. So this is the uh, ab 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 rice. Aborio. Aborio rice. So that's going to go into the pan. Oh, wow, that's like rice aroni rice. <laughs> no, it does. It looks like that, that you put in butter and brown it. And then the small packet of included Tuscan heat, heat. spice. Ooh, it's going to be spicy. Ooh, that smells good. And now you mix that up and brown it for yeah. one minute, it said. To translucent. All right. Now, I think I need to stir in the tomato and water. All right, which goes first? It just it says both of them. Well, which one is listed first? Tomato. All right, get the tomato. Tomato going into the pan. There we go, and include the juice. I'm getting all this stuff. In you like the juice? I do, and then water. And then half a cup of water. Mm -hmm. There you go. What's the next step as you're stirring? Scrape the brown bits. Yes, after that. Um, how long do you cook this? Meanwhile, it doesn't say how long. Measure out three cups of hot water. Hot water from your tap is fine. Oh, hot water burn baby. I'm going to be doing this like they want me to do it like every two or three minutes. I know. It's it's multitasking at its I'm most. I'm not good at that. Concentrate. Chicken concentrate. Show it again. Hold it right over the pan. There you go. Now, Mrs. Cheap has opted to just go with the, uh, like, eight-gallon mixing bowl to measure her three cups of water. But I'm not, I'm not going to... You're judging me. I, I prefer to use a two-cup measuring cup and just do two cups and one cup and pour it into a big bowl. But there you go. So that's chicken concentrate. It's kind of like a liquid, liquid chicken bullion, I'm guessing. And then... Now, now a third of a cup at a time, right? Yeah. You just eyeball it. That eyeball. Like... And we stay on medium heat? Yes. But you'll need to simmer it until it's absorbed. That's why risotto takes a long time. Probably why I've never made it because I'm just, I'm not a real patient man. That's why they never make it on cooking shows. Well, this says it takes 25 minutes, so how am yeah. I going to be done in 40? Because I'm already behind, I think. Check of time, we're currently at 26 minutes. I think it wants me to make the zucchini ribbons in between the risotto strings. Yeah, see, I looked at the recipe thing, and it says while risotto cooks, work on the zucchini. And I don't know how you can do that if you're constantly stirring and adding water. All right, the half a teaspoon of sugar and a big pinch of salt and pepper. Uh, we're supposed to go in when we first started the rice, but that's okay. Nobody will know. All right, let's make some ribbons. Using okay. a potato peeler. <laughs> Just peel it like you peel it. There you go. Yeah. Now I don't know if you're supposed to use the peel part or, or take the peel off and then start doing the ribbons. It looks like you use the peel part. Okay. So I need to zest the lemon. I do know how to zest a lemon. Can you just zest that right into the bowl? Yeah. And this has been washed, of course. Yes. Oh yeah, we zest lemons for lemon cello. The funny thing is with this is you're not a fan of zesting lemon into meals. You like zesting I'm, it into liquor. I'm not usually, no. Okay. Although I've come to accept the lemon zesting and appreciate it. Get, please get that little bit off the bowl up there. I will when I stir it. Okay. Well, now you do the juice? Yeah. Oh, okay. You That'll like be the, the liquid part of it. You like the juice? I like the juice. Look at you. It says two tablespoons, so we'll see. That's probably that whole lemon. That's not much of a lemon. It's the tiniest lemon. Yeah, that'll hope, be enough. Hope I didn't get any seeds in there. Don't forget that little bit up there. I won't. I gotta do a little olive oil, too. Oh, really? Just yeah. a drizzle? That's what it says. And salt and pepper to taste. But how do I know what it's supposed to taste like? Stir the risotto! 
handle them pretty nicely. You can get ready for more? Sure, add a little more. You can get dry pan. If you can move it and it isn't overtaken by liquid, the space that you vacated, you can add. I am sweating. So this is the zucchini ribbons with the juice of a lemon. I think I need to do more zucchini. A drizzle of olive oil. Salt and pepper. I didn't salt and pepper yet. Okay. A little kosher salt. Fresh uh, ground pepper. A pinch of fresh ground pepper. Okay. I'm going to do a few more. All right. Okay, just a little more. That's a lot. Now you stir that up and let it mar marinate. We'll let it sit while we're finishing the risotto. Okay. This ends up tasting like rice a -roni. I'm going to be ticked. <laughs> I think, I don't know. This is why I don't make risotto. This is a lot of, I mean, I suffer from my food. I'll, I'll spend hours making something, but I don't know if you spend this, two days making a soup. I know, I but I don't know if this is worth such a laborious task. We'll find out. If it tastes that much better than just rice, you know, I mean, this looks like rice with onions and tomatoes to me. We'll see. I wish this would hurry up. I'm getting hungry. And our, their 40 minutes is up, and we got a lot of water left to add. So I don't buy their 40 minutes total cooking time. We just hit 40 minutes. That's the supposed to be the total prep and cook time. Wow. And we still have a lot of water left. Oh, yeah, we're getting some good simmer action now. Finally, like 43 minutes in here. I think I'm failing. I'm not going to pass the Hello Fresh test. Should I add more? I just don't know how somebody who doesn't like cooking or have the time to cook, it just seems like, I, I don't know, how. I would just get it at a restaurant and carry it out or something or make something easier. This just seems well, like a lot of work. What I, I, I mean, as a person that doesn't cook every day, I mean, I watch you cook and you're magnificent at it. So are but, you enjoying this? No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating. That's I'm what stressed. I mean. I, but... I mean, I you're busy like all the whole time. I mean, you usually can come and like hang for a minute, or you're you know you don't you seem relaxed like you're having a good time. I'm not having fun right now. I just I mean you have to go the whole time like I'm running between my zucchini and my rice and I mean I I just can't imagine if you had we don't have any kids here, but if you had a couple little kids that you were running around and you were trying to get food on the table or if the phone rang or you wanted to catch a news story or right you'd just be you know the dog needed fed yeah you'd just be ooh, I, I, yeah it'd make me crazy i think even this is really good i'm not going to make it ever again probably not just order it on a cruise ship <laughs> that's probably the last place i had it here you want to taste a little right? sure I'll see if it's uh oh, it's pretty close to done. And even if it's not, I could put up with it with that texture. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I add the sausage and butter and what what else do I do? I'm ready to be done. All right. There's your butter. Finely shredded. That goes in. That oh. sausage? Sausage? Do you need that sausage? Sausage appearing. Yep. Okay. Hey, careful. Okay, do. Do it. Well, careful, careful, careful. You'll spill it. Salt and pepper, chef. <laughs> Thank you, sous chef. Oh, wow. I don't know anybody who puts the pepper first. You are a rebel. Oh, I am. And was this oh, yeah. to taste? I guess. Which I don't understand on a recipe like this. Uh, how do you taste? know until you taste it? Yeah, how do you know? This is two servings. That looks like a lot. That does look like a lot. All right, divide risotto between bowls or plates and top with zucchini ribbons or serve them on the side. Due to technical difficulties with our taste test, I wanted to tell you how the sausage and tomato risotto from HelloFresh was. It tasted great. Uh, the food that we got there, both of the meals, tasted fantastic. Our problem was with preparation, cooking time, uh, following the recipe, 
it's it's a lot to do for somebody who doesn't necessarily like to cook and for the cost at fifteen dollars per person per meal you know you could you could eat out again the taste was very good but for somebody who orders this for convenience apparently doesn't like to go to the store and doesn't like to cook I just think it's a lot of work but uh, I, it was fun to try and like I said the food was very tasty not cheap so we're not gonna eat it like this anymore John eats cheap thanks for watching mm -hmm.